Hey guys, Tony Desoy, Sass Sass, and welcome to another cigar review. And today we have a cigar that kind of has something to do with the Shadow Smokes Legion history. Because at one time we went out of our way to do a group buy for the Alec Bradley Magic Toast. And this is the fifth year anniversary version of this. Incidentally, we are also fifth year anniversary. So yeah, um, this is what I'm gonna smoke today. Some information on this cigar. It's kind of weird because I remember the original uh, Alec Bradley when it was uh, Magic Toes when it was released. The only thing they released was it was Honduras and Nicaraguan mix. Okay, so it's a Honduras wrapper, uh, Honduras and Nicaraguan mix binder. That's like a double binder, and then a Honduras and Nicaraguan mix filler. But this time, their news release is kind of more detailed. It says it's a Maduro wrapper for Honduras Tor uh, Torres uh, region. And then it says, obviously, you also get the Honduras and Nicaraguan dual binder. And then you get the mix of Gemestran, Corojo, and Criollo for Honduras, and then Jalapa. Uh, grown Criollo from Nicaragua. So it's more detailed this time. I don't know why there's more information this time than compared to the past. This is a 7x54 double Robusto. So it's a mm, big cigar. And it's $14.49 per cigar. So $14.50-ish. They made uh, 2,000 boxes, so 10. So now I used to smoke a few Magic Toast regularly because we bought a lot of them. And it was good but the thing about the cigar is it's like gambling right um you buy a box you have more than half of them are plugged and that's my biggest issue with alec bradley so so long this doesn't plug for me i think the cigar will reach 15 dollars very easily but let's first take a look at the cigar shall we so we have this cigar here as you can see a very beautiful long cigar and shiny very shiny oily oily and the band fits the color very well and but you, you get to see this it's very textured okay you can see that very leafy texture um almost toothy dot on it but the foot is actually i mean the cap is actually rounded and smooth so and the foot is slightly open and that would be it okay so now we're back let's get started to smoke this let me get ready get myself ready for this punchy cigar Mm. It's hard to tell what smell this is because it's so oily, but I can tell you it's sweet. Sweet, fruity a little bit smell. Let's cut it. There we go. It's got a lot of room. Ooh. I have a feeling this has got to be plugged. Um, the cold dry is like licorice. A leafy, damp licorice taste. But the draw is very tight. I'm kind of worried. And this is why I say it's gamble, you know. 1450. Come on, man. You gotta disappoint me like that, Magic Toast. 
All right, let's get started. Maybe this will open up. Who knows? Holy crap. All right. Sweet. Fruity. Dark. Bitter coffee. Chocolate. Ooh. Caramel, caramel. Cherry. Something with tones. Some baking spice that, that leans towards more sour ends of it. The taste kind of bites a little bit. There's a lingering bitterness to the side of my mouth. Yeah, it's very bitter at the end. But it's sweet when you start. There is... Other than cherry, there's got to be some sort of like a fruity mixture plus the woodsy note. It almost tastes like a cologne. Almost. Caramel, coffee. It's going. Work into a chocolate. Cherry. Sweet. Well, that's what I get right now. So let's smoke one third and we will be right back. Please open up. Okay. I wanted to kind of jump back right here. Just show you guys like, you know, this is what I'm talking about. Alec Bradley cigar. They don't burn well. Their construction is not as good. You know, this magic toast, like I say, is like a gamble. No, that's just. I mean, the flavor. Okay. The flavor. It tastes like, um, let me just refresh this a little bit. It'll take me like three draws to get a good burn through it. Um, it has a good mix of like cherry, chocolate, and maybe coffee, dry fruit, something that is spicy, but I can't call it pepper. And wood notes, a lot of different wood notes, mm, probably between a sandalwood and an oak wood kind of thing going on. Um, that's why it kind of tastes like clone from here and there. And there is a bitter tobacco taste somewhere in there as well. And that's what I got, like literally one third kind of the you know ish place because I can tell like you no know, like over here is one third, but over the other side is not. You know what I'm saying? See, so. It's really hard to get a good flavor out of this with this burn being like this, but it's loosened up a little bit. So I think that I might be able to get a full enjoyment after somewhere at the end of two thirds. Well, it's double Robusto, right? So I, I expect that I'm going to be able to get something good at the Robusto point. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Now, in terms of... Um, uh, the body of the flavor, I'll, I'll say that's quite a bit. I mean, a medium-ish uh, body of the flavor with a medium-ish um, strength right now. It's pretty balanced in terms of the ratio for flavor versus strength. But, you know, it's, it's I feel like it's going to get me sick later on because how much effort it will take me to get some draw out of it. All right. So, yeah, let I me mean, go to, I don't know somewhere where we can talk about this again and we'll be right back so at the halfway point i think somewhere around there i just want to point out the flavor kind of um went to a primarily 
You want to call it 90% chocolate with some cherry? 90% dark chocolate with some cherry and, and, and maybe some woodsy notes? It's kind of nice. And it's got a little bit of woodsy tone that kind of keep the flavor going, which is great. But what I don't like is that at the end of that woodsy note keep going, it turned to like, I don't know, a stinky feet taste. But it's very short. Like the as soon as I take another puff, that goes away. But like if I stop taking the puff, it lingers a little bit. So I don't I don't know what that is. Yeah, but the the ch the chocolate and the fruity notes are very pleasant. Uh, it's very good. It's just that the end with the end point is not good. The end point is not good. And still having trouble drawing, but I can feel like this is loosening up a lot more now. You can see, and it's not, it's not that it's not moist. You can see like, you see the bounce? You see that? There is enough flex. It's just, the draw is just not good. So we'll see if it continues. It kind of corrected itself a little bit. You see that? And I try to help it. It doesn't help. It just, the, the moment that you kind of help, uh, get it to fix it, the other side starts to work, you know, it's way too wonkiness. So I think we'll have another revisit update once I get to at the end of that band or something like that. And, and, and we'll see where that goes. I'm hoping this to kind of loosen up a little bit more to get there. But if you ask me, does this give me a 1450? You know, based on the length alone and the amount of tobacco and the flavor, I will say this already. We're very close. Uh, I, I would say somewhere in the $14 range. Yeah, $13 to $14 right now because it does have flavor. It has a good amount of flavor. Uh, it's a lot of tobacco to smoke through. And the only problem I have is a draw. Really. Flavor-wise, I think uh, any of the negative notes I'm getting is probably because of uneven burn. You know, something burns more, something's like not really burned because you can see white black white black is that that just shows you that it's uneven burn so you're not gonna get the best flavor out of it because of that so it's really construction issue so but we'll come right back okay like we said we're gonna revisit once he gets to that point and he did you can see it kind of fix itself again but this is where the trouble starts again ready Another tunnel is about to form. You see that? About to form. This thing just doesn't want to burn well. Doesn't want to burn well. About to form. But flavor is still there. It's still just a fruity, chocolatey, coffee-ish thing with a spiciness that I can tell what that is. And literally, it's got, got a little bit more mineral. Kind of taste mineral ish, and that's pretty much all I'm getting. So, you know, if you want to say this thing is 14, 15, 16 dollars, sure. I mean, you're gonna get the flavor out of it, you are gonna have a lot of tobacco to smoke as long as it smokes. But, like, if you got to plug one, oh, technically, you know, you can't smoke it, you can't smoke it. You know, if you can't smoke it, it's, it's really what zero, but it's not. I mean, I got to smoke it and, you know, it's been hour ish too. Uh, and I still have a Corona left. <laughs> so, you know, I'm still smoking this uh, and the flavor didn't really die. Like, I mean, it takes weird terms. And, and I think, and, and the thing about it taking weird turn is because it's burning uneven. So it's giving me more notes than the other or less notes than the other, or as he, you know, as he burns different part of the tobacco. And that's normal, but it's it's just not, not preferred, right? So while I'm smoking this one now, and I'll have the last third left, and let's take a look at the band, okay? So the only difference, I think, to this particular cigar is the five-year anniversary band. So let's take a look. I think the main band got shorter too, but let me take a look. 
here's a main band there you go and you know it's nice i i i like how that is but uh you know using the um like a magical scripture horoscope thing in majiga uh thing going on so yeah um it's just the magic toast name makes me think of magic toast you know but it's magic toast and then you get the fifth year anniversary put to the answer you know and and th that matches their you know their story right the fifth year anniversary band has a star light sky with a magic toast name on the side i mean they say in, i think if I did remember the correctly, they they came out with this cigar when they were at the field one night looking at the star and stuff like that and came out with that. So I, I'm not too sure the exact story, but I think that's what it is. But let me take a look at the original Magic Coast um, band. Let's see if there's any different because I can't recall if it's exactly the same, you know. So let me take a look. Yeah, it's the same. So Magic Toast Band is still the same. They just added a fifth year anniversary band, which is financially smart, you know? So let me smoke the last stir. I'll be right back. This thing has so many revisits because it's such a long cigar, but this is a quick one. If I go back to smoke, told you. Tunnel, burn the side, and not even again. Not even again. So yeah. All right, I'm done. Here we go. Yeah, you can see like last minute finally all oh, burns even. But like I say, the cigar is pretty good. It just burns bad. Uh I can rate this between the yeah, 14 to 16 dollar range. I think if it burns well, I don't even mind to give it 17. Uh, because how much cigar you're getting out of this flavor, it's very noticeable. It's very easy to pick up. Laster, we got plenty of the, the sweet fruity and the uh, uh, chocolatiness. Again, there's some sort of spice. I just don't know what it is. Just tingles. No, no, no. That kind of kind of spicy, but but it's not pepper, you know. So no, in terms of what you get out of Magic Toast, I think the regular size even is pretty good of a cigar, and this one is no not that much different, but you know the same flaw, right? It's the construction that's a flaw. And it might be because they use a double binder. It might be because the, the way they roll it, whoever decides to roll them. It's just, like I said, it's gamble. Like, you know, if you get it, you get it, right? See? There's a big tunnel there, too. So, you know, it's, it's mostly it's mostly the, the, the construction issue. The rest of the cigar is good. Cigar tastes well. Cigar um, gives in, in, enough flavor. More than enough flavor for the strength that you're getting. I smoked through this whole entire cigar. Um, one hour and maybe 50 minute, one hour and 50 minute ish. So it, it, it you know, it do definitely give you two Robusto kind of, uh, uh, um, enjoyment. It's just that, you know, the part where it doesn't burn well is really annoying. Cause like, then you get some flavor you're missing out some flavor could have been a perfect blend but whenever it catches up you're like okay yeah okay start to taste really 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 good and then it burns somewhere else again so yeah but i will recommend people try this cigar it's actually not bad if you can't get a cigar i think you get a very similar uh experience with uh the the robusto the toro and other size i think there's like three or three or four other sizes uh that will give you a similar experience for a good price range but if you look at the price that you're paying for it, if this thing is like fourteen fifty, and then Robusto is what about, I don't know, ten, then I'd rather pay that four extra to get two, right? You know what I'm saying? Like you know, it's up to you. It's up to you. So I could recommend this cigar. It's a pretty good cigar, uh, and I hope everybody give it give it a try. And also, good luck to you <laughs> because you have to hope that there is no dry issue, there's no burn issue, for a good experience. Okay, so that will be it for this particular review. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you enjoy it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. And uh, if you want more content, which people will probably see this first if they're a member, 
um, join our membership. Uh, and you get to see and listen to our podcast early. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.